So ladies and gentlemen, again welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm very happy it is Christmas day and I have a very special edition for you where I am doing face to face comparison between Nissan March and Suzuki Alto. And I'm doing it right from my village in Nyahururu in Laikipia County. So this is where I live but I drive in the city of Nairobi. So most people have been asking me this question which car should I consider to buy if I want to get into Uber and you know Bolt and the whole uh, entire online taxi businesses. So what I tell guys is that you can take any car of your choice but it depends on other considerations beyond just doing the business. So just to compare these two cars, Nissan March and Suzuki Alto, each of these car has its own pros and cons. And that's why I have said, consider your needs and your entire requirement of the car that you make your choice. First of all, Suzuki Alto is 650cc, while Nissan March is 1200 cc so the engine of nissan march is two times stronger that of suzuki alto what that reflects in terms of fuel consumption is that suzuki alto will average uh, uh 18 to 23 kilometers per liter when you drive within the city but when you drive long distance let's say from nairobi to eldoret without traffic the average consumption can be 30 kilometers per liter so that is very very economical while for nissan march when you drive within the city it will be between 15 to 18 kilometers per liter when you do long distance it can be between 18 to 23 kilometers so not a very huge difference but of course it counts every coin counts when you are in this business the second point of these two cars is that you know suzuki alto is a bit smaller in terms of space you are foot space leg space as a driver and also for passengers and also the comfort of the seat you will feel that suzuki alto is a little bit less comfortable compared to to, uh, to nissan march so that is a second point to note the other point to note is that uh, nissan march you know has more of digital controls electronic controls like you can uh, raise your mirrors you side mirrors you can close them using you know buttons well you cannot do that on this suzuki alto so those are minor differences that really do not determine what i call the essentials of a car the other point that you need to consider between these two cars is you know other uses outside uber business i always tell people that if you are a full-time taxi driver consider buying a smaller car suzuki alto will save you a lot of fuel compared to nissan march for every 1000 of fuel that you put in suzuki alto i suspect you gain a, a, a 500 shillings on top of what a nissan march will give you so that one will count so much i have used these two cars i have met drivers using them and i have done a comprehensive fuel analysis so fuel consumption is very critical in uber business and i will tell you consider buying a 650 cc car the driver of this suzuki alto has told me that you know he has told me that there is no place that he has ever gone with the nissan march and suzuki alto has not been able to go there so why go for a bigger car when you can fulfill your uber needs with a smaller car but what i tell people is that nissan march becomes a bit important if you have a family if after business you have a wife and two kids that you want to carry to your village you know and come back with some luggages of gunia that point nissan march becomes more better than march because uh, nissan march become much better than uh alto because alto you know it cannot be overloaded it is already a small car and once you put more than two people behind and then the co-driver and you more than four people that car will start whistling it will you know it will start losing power so nissan march is for a person who has other needs of the car outside the business while suzuki alto is good for a full-time driver okay